and it's day eight of a crippling strike in the Itekwini metro. Members affiliated to the South African Municipal Workers Union are demanding a salary adjustment to match employees in other metro municipalities. The city says there's been the destruction of infrastructure, private and public property during the strike. Premier Nomusa Dube Ngube and Mayor Mkolisi Kaunda will be hosting a press briefing this morning to update residents on the ongoing strike. And Newsroom Africa's Nobushle Modise joins us live. Uh, Nobushle, good morning to you. Just tell us uh, the latest from where you are and what's uh, likely to emerge from this important news conference. Very good morning, Emmanuel. We're expecting uh, the Premier of the province, Nomusa Dube Nube, and the Mayor of Eteguin in Polisikawunda to um, host a press briefing at around 10.30 just to update residents on this ongoing strike. And you must remember that this is not only the municipal strike that we're talking about. There's also the strike by workers at the Ushaga Marine World, and that strike has entered its fifth week today, and that municipal strike we saw started last Tuesday, which came from a meeting, a general meeting that was held uh, by the union at Curry's Fountain and from then on about 500 workers uh, took to the streets um, and then marched to the city hall where they were demanding um, uh, that salary adjustment saying that uh, employees that work for other metropolitan municipalities are earning much higher than what they are, that they, than what they are earning. We also know that uh, the union has said that uh, they hired the services of an independent consultant uh, to do an analysis and this is how it came about that they realize that uh, workers in the Itagini metro are not getting paid as much as those in other uh, metros. Um, we also know that that's the same uh, for those workers at the Ushaga Marine World. And we saw a lot of, um, you know, destruction happen in the city. Uh, you know, we know that uh, the Itagini metro has interdicted the strike, um, and they're saying that there were acts of vandalism and sabotage to water infrastructure particularly. We know that west of the city, they say that some pipes were slashed and left leaking and there were other areas that were also reporting uh, power cuts. Uh, waste collection has also been affected. So it's pandemonium in the city of Eteguini but for today we've, it's been calm. We haven't seen anything on the streets. Um, it's relatively calm. There hasn't been anything happening but last week we did see that destruction take place um, across the city where the workers are saying that they are demanding higher wages as compared to those of other workers in other metros. Nabuchle, these are big issues of big impact, as you say, a trail of destruction in their way because they, they fight for what they are, you know, fighting for in terms of their rights with regard to salaries and so on. But a big impact in terms of service delivery. We know that municipal workers are really the lifeblood, uh, you know, of service delivery in any province and in KwaZulu-Natal specifically, given the aftermath of a number of natural disasters, their services couldn't be more vital. And Didi Mana, not to forget that this particular strike also happens in the midst of that uh, boycott by ratepayers. So a number of issues uh, on top of those that you've just mentioned. So we wait to hear exactly um, what the city as well as the Premier of the province are going to say uh, to residents who are obviously very concerned uh, that ratepayers boycott has been, uh, has, has been something that has been happening uh, since uh, the adjustment of rates and taxes for residents. So we wait to hear what exactly will take place that we are are expecting them to speak here at the Durban ICC at around 10.30. We know that uh, Samu is also saying that uh, they are uh, going to uh, give a response uh, to that particular briefing that's about to take place at 10.30. Nubulfe Modise, thanks for keeping us close to this one and we'll bring you those developments as and when they happen.